All right, so here we got a 2019 MacBook Pro, and this came in with no power. So a customer said the computer was working fine, and all of a sudden there was no power, and it wouldn't power on or anything. So first we got to check it and see how much current it's drawing. And as you can see here, <clears throat> it's stuck at 5 volts, 0 0.02 amp. 5 volts, 0 0.02 amps. Let's check the other one. This other port. Doing the same. So definitely something wrong with the board on this one. Uh, let's take it out and see what we could do. All right, so the board's out. Next day here, I uh, I was busy yesterday, so I skipped this one for today. And after checking, no liquid uh, damage, no any signs of liquid or blown capacitors or anything on the board either side the board looks intact um, and checking the main rails i was able to find a short on the pp bus rail i believe right here This would be the V pad and uh, PP bus V pad and PP bus. I will show you on the schematics. Would be this one right here. Yeah. So PP bus V pad G3 hot, and this one is PP bus. So it's a fuse. It's the same line, but from this side would be PP bus. And I'm pretty sure some of the subrails will be shorted. Uh, but in this case, we have no obvious signs. So the best thing here is we're going to inject a small voltage, just in case if there's a short to the CPU. It's not going to harm it. So I'll probably go with about max of 2 volts and uh, start with half an amp. And let's see under the thermal cam. What well, would we'll start to overheat, and this way we could figure out where the problem is. Let's keep the tweezers here and let's get back to the This cam right here. And we're going to start injecting the voltage. And it is drawing half an amp at 2 volts. Uh, the 2 volts dropped, of course, to about 1 volt. And this is my hand right here. Showing some orange red. If something is, yeah, something is definitely picking up over here. So something is moving up over here. Let's point to it. Here is this thing here, and. Luckily, it is in a capacitor, so uh, it does seem that this is heating up a little bit once we take off the um, injected voltage. As you saw, it was dropping. It was at 30 degrees, and then it dropped to 24 as soon as I took it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to find a replacement capacitor here from a donor board, and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, 
as you can see here on the schematic this capacitor is a 68 microfarad 16 volt and I was able to get a replacement I'm not gonna use hot air just because there's a <clears throat> connector here there's a plastic connector that could most likely melt and I don't want to deal with covering it so we could just put some additional turn on this extractor it's a little more solid on the other side this capacitor and use using both uh, <laughs> of my soldering irons here. Let's first check and make sure this uh, short is gone. There is no more short on this side. And let's check that that capacitor and definitely that was shorted so i'm sure this is going to be a solved problem hopefully nothing else will be an issue let's add some more solder to this side of that capacitor So So next step is I'm going to install this board and I'll be right back for testing it. All right, and this one is back for testing. <clears throat> Screen flex here. Okay, let's watch the okay. So it is switching to twenty volts this time. Point eleven amps. Kind of restarting here, and there you go. Not sure if you can see the Apple logo, but yeah, there you go. Computer is on, and uh, at this point, this should be a done repair. Uh, I hope this video helped someone, and thank you for watching.